so in this uh, video i will talk a little bit about ssds and if you have a laptop and it has mechanical hard drive then you should definitely get a ssd and you should install it and see the big difference the ssds have on laptops in overall performance and uh, everything else so this ssd is the one which was already installed in the laptop when i bought it the speed of this older ssd is very close to the new ones which i have purchased so this is the one one which I bought in 2022 December and this SSD was older technology so I can understand why the speed is uh, significantly slower but that's okay I mean when I bought it I bought it the intention of storing data creating my backups storing movies and and things like that so it's not that relevant for me so that's completely fine by me So this SSD was purchased in 2018 and at that point in time the concept of SSD was very new to me and uh, it was a significant difference from previous uh, hard drive. It was mechanical, it was uh, slow, it was heavy but this one was really good. Still the speed was uh, nowhere close to what we have today but it was still very fast uh, if you compare it with a mechanical hard drive. So first things first I want to mention about the price at which I bought it. So I have been tracking this for some time now and I have seen this product at 25,000, 21,000, 17,000 even. So when I looked at this product uh, during Republic Day sale, it was uh, listed for 20,000 and there was this instant cashback or promotional discount for 1,000 and then there was a discount for 2,000 rupees if you use uh, your credit card and uh, opt for EMI, right? So I always go for uh, EMIs when the interest charge has been uh, given as an instant discount. So after including all the discounts, bank discounts and vouchers, I got this product for 16,250 rupees. So here is what I think is very important when you are purchasing something. Buy things which are important but not that important because if you are buying things without tracking uh, price, you will end up paying more or maybe even sometimes less. But uh, that will depend on your luck how lucky you are but if you track a product you will definitely get a good deal right so you have to be very patient about it so i also want to mention that there are a lot of different variants for this product if you go for the plus variant you will have a higher speed so for this one it has 3500 mbps megabytes per second uh, if you go for the higher variants you will get 7000 mb per seconds and even 12000 mb per seconds you get the idea right but i think it's reasonable what i do so the best part about replacing parts in a laptop like ram or hard drives it's very simple i would say if you have seen someone do it it's very easy and now there are lots of tutorial available online so you can do it with with ease you don't have to pay anyone or you don't have to wait for someone to do it for you it's very easy and very convenient at home so when i bought this laptop what was really important to me is the cpu so it was ryzen 7 and ryzen chips were really trending it was a big hit and had significant performance improvement over intel so i went for this one but if i had to buy it again i will go for the intel one uh, because uh, the laptops with intel cpus and uh, macbook laptops have thunderbolt and i love thunderbolt because you have one port and you can get multiple displays with it so definitely recommended so now it was time to install windows 11 on the device so i already had my pen drive ready with windows 11 as the bootable device i think that's what we call it so it was a very easy process i mean you have lots of videos available online but yes i did install it and uh, i tried it a few times it was giving an error but i tried it once again and it was working fine so nothing to worry about if you're not able to do it in one go just uh, restart the device and uh, try to plug in the bootable device after you have restarted the laptop and if at the time of installing windows you forgot to uh, do the partition of uh, the drives you can do it later i didn't knew that
so now i had this uh, extra 500 uh, gigabytes of storage available which i could use it as a pen drive so i had to buy this orico case so this case can support up to 4 tb so this has happened with me multiple times so if you are uh, opening package make sure that you unbox all the important parts slowly because i have lost multiple items multiple times and we have this black kind of cap uh, to protect the ssd once uh, it's inside the case and i always uh, read the manual because manuals are a great uh, way to understand how the product works uh, because you can't miss anything right so i was thinking that this ssd can also be used like a pen drive but recently i went to my village and i took this one with all the movies and everything else but i was not able to play it for some reason so be careful about it so whenever i plugged in the ssd case i kept getting this message that says allow uh, the device to switch i don't know what happened but it was an android tablet and uh, it was not working that's the bottom line and uh, when i was back from my travel i tried to use uh, the nvme case in the laptop but i got some error message and i had to disassemble uh, the nvme case and then again i tried to use it in the laptop and then it was working so something to keep in mind When I say speed of SSDs, I refer to the read and write speed uh, of the SSDs. So after installing the new SSD, it was time to check the speed if, uh, if it stands what the company claims. And I was very impressed by it because the, the, the SSD that came with the laptop was a bit slower than this one. But I do feel that there is a lag when it comes to video editing when I'm editing my 4K videos. But I think that's more because of the fact that my CPU is at maximum capacity than the SSD. <laughs> 